Because there was an interesting news story breaking yesterday that the New York Times is suing Microsoft and OpenAI for copyright infringement, basically alleging that uh, it's using its contents to help develop its AI services. And yeah. I'm wondering what you make of that. And is this basically a sign of what to come when it comes to lawsuits over AI and copyright? Well, we've consistently thought and argued that copyright will ultimately really define how the generative AI ecosystem may evolve, because many of these models are trained on crawls of the public web, which in many cases contains various different amounts of data, which may or may not have new copyright concerns emerging. So we've consistently believed and argued that hyperscalers like Microsoft are some of the best positioned to navigate this, either through their ability to mount uh, various different legal defenses or simply through their ability to have very deep, well-capitalized pockets and uh, networks to potentially strike data licensing agreements. But that's a so legal, you know what? This. That's a legal yeah. argument, and I get it, right? They have deep pockets, but I do wonder, we talked about this earlier in the week about the regulatory oversight and figuring that out. We've learned in a rough way by not having kind of the regulatory um, barriers, if you will, when it comes to social media. So I do wonder, this is a big issue because generative AI gets smarter, right, Fred, by the amount of mm -hmm. information, the data that gets into it, that data doesn't necessarily belong to a Microsoft or an open AI. So will regulators have to come in and kind of figure that out? Is there some royalty that gets to the data providers? So it's something we're watching carefully, and really to the point of this new lawsuit, the New York Times uh, filing its complaint against Microsoft and OpenAI, we think that this is going to be the lawsuit to watch, actually, to determine how courts begin to understand the concept of copyright in the era of generative AI. And to your point on, on regulation, we're still in a bit of a... Uh, a frontier here in terms of, of regulatory oversight of generative AI. The uh, White House with its uh, executive order on AI regulatory, on its own AI regulatory framework, mm -hmm. we're now just beginning to see uh, the follow-up to that with various different federal organizations implementing uh, what the White House mandated. I think to the point on copyright though, the EU has been with its AI Act, mm -hmm. uh, really taking more strides in that direction, also mandating companies to who are producing these models to have an auditable understanding of what copyrighted data went into something, into, into the production of a model. And I think it goes to the big picture of what we're actually saying is a potential uh, new risk in, in, and uh, source of volatility in 2024, which is that with abundant generative AI, either available through uh, commercial means or just downloaded on one's desktop, uh, we think that there's a real risk as we go into the 2024 election cycle of new AI-driven propaganda and deep fakes becoming a really significant societal problem that could also present new points of volatility and risk this next year 